All right, and as promised, here's part two of uh, the many, 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 many answers and questions. Yeah, it was Very really well. amazing how many questions we got in yeah. total. I, I hope we, had, we didn't miss any serious or important questions. Yeah. yeah, we tried to answer them all. Yes, <laughs> okay. And uh, I think we can say at this point that uh, we will continue this in the future. Obviously yeah. not in this frequency, um, because <laughs> I need to sleep in January yeah, sometimes. Yeah, and we need to, we we need to, to do some, some work, yeah. yeah. But uh, no, it has been a lot of fun for us. Um, yeah. just, uh, Indeed. It, there were some silly questions, there were some serious <laughs> questions, and we discussed a lot about some of these questions, yeah. actually. So it was really nice, and I hope uh, you were able to uh, get to know us a little better as well. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so... Mati, why don't you start? Yeah, well, uh, Daniel Ferreira asks, will, do, will you do a How to Paint Buddha Flakes video release? <laughs> Buddha Flakes. No, we won't. No. no. Maybe we'll do a How to Paint with Buddha Flakes. but <laughs> Or how to eat Buddha Flakes yes. and how to paint. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, okay, Kokonor uh, asks, I love the Q&A. Keep doing it. I'm glad that you guys have a great sense of humor. Uh, it is even better when you crack yourselves up. I don't know if that's a question. But <laughs> <laughs> <Better>. <laughs> we don't know either. <laughs> yeah, we crack up all the time, yeah. so we don't, <laughs> <laughs> we don't know the it difference. It doesn't matter whether yeah. we actually do videos or not. It's, there's no difference. Yeah. <coughs> well, Rick Denny asks, uh, I'm so blown away with all the awesome... No. Oh, nothing. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <It's okay. laughs> Keep going, there will be no I'm editing. I'm so blown away with, uh, uh, with all the awesome that is painting Buddha that my brain hurts. Sorry, too. <laughs> Will you please help me to come up with a question? Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, you just did. <laughs> it's like questionception. There's a question inside a question. <laughs> Good job, man. Yeah. So, uh, next question. Uh, Jip Boom asks, um, if, the early beard gets the, uh, oh, no. if the early bird gets the worm, <laughs> what does the be early beard get? The worm. Buddha flakes. With why? Buddha flakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I have absolutely no idea. A good deal. The best deal. Yeah. In the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, Luca Pinsuti asked us, uh, how much time does it take to paint a miniature? If you're not very um, particular about what you're doing, about 15 seconds. Um, if you're very, very, very meticulous, uh, it might be uh, 15 days. Yeah, or even longer. Yes, like in my case. <laughs> 15 years, and there's still the space code. <laughs> well, I think, uh, to be serious, a normal figure takes me around about 8 hours, uh, 8 to 25 hours, hours uh, depending on the detail. And uh, yeah, If you see Ben starting a unit the day before game stay and getting gold, then you know about <laughs> how much afraid. we hate him really. <laughs> Okay, um, Jaboom. <clears throat> it's not my turn? No. Uh. <laughs> no. I'm not so sure. Uh, now the question, I don't know, the, does the answer might have a will of its own? The flashing red button is ominously familiar. Now I don't know why it's ominously familiar, but uh, you should look at the button if you want to find the, uh, the Easter egg. Just saying, true story. <laughs> Thanks for answering my question, says Thomas Stanislavski. I'm looking forward to your paint series. Question. Why there was no Ben this time? Oh, there was in the, in the fourth uh, answer of Matt, I think. Yeah, there was no Ben, I believe. Yeah, yeah there was, I think it was uh, his, uh, because he was so happy to do it. <laughs> yes, just... that, that's the reason. Actually, yeah. I'd say about two-thirds of the questions were addressed to me, so... Yeah. yeah. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And Ben is just too beautiful to yeah. show every day. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Stupid people. Um, Michael Hansen asks, uh, what is the best painting tool slash helper uh, for you? I don't know. It's a question for you. Which what? I didn't listen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is the best painting helper tool for you? Oh, he doesn't ben. Paint. Yeah, he doesn't paint. <laughs> Helper tool, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, of course. He, a brush. He helps me. <laughs> <laughs> Helper tool. Brush me. I would say a brush. Yeah. A brush. And a steady hand. <laughs> that helps. Uh, should airbrushing be done only under a fumes hood? Um, I think you probably mean those, those uh, sucky machines. 
And I would say yes, absolutely, uh, for two reasons. First of all, inhaling all this stuff isn't that great. And secondly, if you don't do this, all, your whole apartment or your whole room will just uh, have a thin layer of uh, yeah, pigments. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That's not so nice. And even if so, if you spray a lot, use one of those. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> really. Safety first. <laughs> <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. <coughs> Mati. Um, Stefan Johnson says, Man, get some sleep. Today's quest uh, question, which character in Winnie the Pooh is your favorite and why? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? I actually like poo because it's called poo. <laughs> yeah. You like Isn't that like a donkey? Isn't that like a donkey with a kind of yeah, stuck on Eeyore? Yeah. 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 I'm not an expert, sorry. Not warm. Uh, I take the kangaroo. Is that the kangaroo? Yeah, I think so. Cool. It's I take the kangaroo too. <laughs> no, that's okay. Piggy. Go ahead. <laughs> Freaking do. Order place. Thank you, God. Uh, I think that it would be a good, uh, good idea to, to add a banner carrying figure to add to the order. Yes, but oh, um, no, I see what we're I, I think I think it's it's quite a good uh, good idea. Um, but there will be a uh, like a small part of the DVD will be how to build banners and how to customize banners. So I think we all have a lot of figures at home that we can customize with banners. I think also there's another very important uh, uh, point here. Um, we do the big um, collector boxes like the season 1.1 target identified and obviously a lot of time goes into making these and they cost a lot of money as you've seen in video number nine. Uh, and they will also cost you a lot of money because just the way it is. And if everything we did cost you 84 euros, I think uh, after at least three seasons you'd say, okay, well, this is enough. Yeah, yeah. And um, we want to get the knowledge across um, as condensed as possible. Uh, as possible. But uh, we can't add miniatures to everything, a single thing we do. Um, so I think that would be um, one way to, work, to answer yeah. that. But it would have been a good idea. Okay, um, are you planning on adding more brothers to the ranks at HQ? Uh, if you had to pick one person in the world to fill the role of brother number four, who would it be? Um, yeah, I guess I have to answer this. <clears throat> are we planning? Yes, uh, absolutely. Um, there's uh, room for nine. <laughs> in the in the Grey Council. <laughs> so there you go. That's true. That is true. It's actually in their work contract. We are called the Grey Council. So yeah. I'm one of nine. Uh, uh, Matt is actually two of nine and you are three of nine. So. Um, if there would be one person I would like to pick right now um, for full time, it would be uh, Volumia. Absolutely. He's my brother. Much love, man. Ab heute kein Pferd mehr. Ganze Matratze. Okay, next one. Mm. Mick, Michael Hansen asks, when you can fly everywhere, what will be the first place you want to get to? Iceland. Iceland is nice. Nice land. Nice land. In this case, I just say Greenland because I like... <laughs> so you can, you can visit? I, I, would have to, I would have to say the first trip I would do is go back to Japan. Absolutely. I love Japan. Yes, good question. François Lozach. For Games Day, the Urban Legend said that basing is not taken into account for uh, individual category. Um, just the painting. Is it really true? I don't think so. Sometimes um, I have the feeling that even the painting isn't taken into consideration. <laughs> <laughs> no, <say> <laughs> um, but I think it's in the rules that the, the bases do not count uh, in the judging. But still, you can't um, you can't avoid to see it all as one piece. It's yeah. just you see it, and it's the first impression. And the exactly, yeah. so the it's very comes. subjective. You can't yeah, yeah, turn yeah. this off. It doesn't work. So it, yeah. it's a stupid rule. Mm, no, I lost my track here. Uh, here. <laughs> what do you prefer working with, white metal or resin? I prefer collecting white metal. And I actually prefer working with plastic if, if I have the choice. Um, and then resin would be second. For me, it's resin. I like it that you can uh, convert it very easily and clean it easy. No. It's, it's not. Yeah, resin plastic is kind of the same. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm. For me, it's neither nor. I like putty. <laughs> yeah. He likes it soft, and then we yeah. make it hard and sell it. <laughs> okay. Well, Jiboom asks Are you going to release a miniature of the painting Buddha from your logo? 
Maybe. From yeah, and it will be from chocolate, and it will be <laughs> available, <laughs> available next year for Christmas. <laughs> That's well. actually very good. That is an awesome idea, by the way. Uh, we'll have to keep that. Um, yeah, I think that there will be a logo, uh, Buddha logo, miniature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There should be. Uh, the Tin Man asks, um, brilliant grand prize, is the air flight included when I win? No, not the air flight, um, but um, we will release some additional information. So there will be a cash portion to the price. Um, whether you use it on your airfare or not, that's up to you. Cool. That is very cool. Yeah. If you were a miniature, Michael Hansen asked this, what would this miniature look like? For me, it would look exactly the same. I would be wearing a bathrobe and I would have two heads. <laughs> what? <laughs> I am Zephyr Bibelbrock. <laughs> I would be just a lot smaller and on a plastic base. You want to be like Matty? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Now you will be one guy with a big gun right now. No. Yes. So what would you be? Yeah, me in 1 to 32. <laughs> we'll scale up. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, oh, so yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, it's so funny. No, so so the yeah. Tin Man. Wait a more. Yeah. The Tin Man. Uh, what if anybody leaks information uh, about your secret new seasons? What will your legal department do? <laughs> the legal department is actually leaking the information. <laughs> 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 Well, if you if you if you put up the tiles of the puzzle, just saying. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay, love Buddhas, lovely Buddhas. Okay. Will you ever produce a whole game with your own mini range? Um, Kimit thirty one oh five. Um, well, first of all, game is something we have in mind. Whether we do this this year or not is a different question. Uh, on mini range, um, I have some very, very, very different ideas for that. So I will not answer this question right now. Later. Later. Not even soon. <laughs> Kokanur asks, are there any Easter eggs in this one? Since I'm too blind to find the egg in the other one. <clears throat> Easter eggs. Uh, every, yes. Um, no, in this one, no. There's no Easter egg in this one. Not even my head, no. <laughs> it's not, not even in there. Not in the beard. Yeah, people ask me to look we at checked. my beard. <laughs> we <laughs> checked. Yeah. But um, um, in every uh, answer on my video, it's an Easter egg. It's always at the same device. And if you read the uh, blog entry to number 17, uh, there are some hints in there. So last chance to solve it. Yes. So, François Lozach. Uh, what is the f first? What? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what is your list for Christmas? Peace in the world, no violence anymore, or death of just Justin Bieber? Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By a hor hor horribly gigantic mutant star goat. I do like this, and not so much the, the Justin Bieber. I don't care about him, but that star goat idea is actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I go for the star goat. Yeah. You want the star goat? How about you? Nah. Peace in the world. It sounds like a nice one, but the Justin Bieber option is so <laughs> <laughs> it's too tempting. To oh, we'll, 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 have to, we'll have to think about this a little longer. Okay, Andre Skyl asks, why don't you use crowdfunding for realizing your projects? Uh, is it a question of honor for a former businessman? Well, first of all, we are using crowdfunding. We are doing this with you guys. Um, yeah. So, for example, the pre-orders for season 1.2 and 1.3, we need to sell about 200 to just pay for the production of this. And uh, that is, is basically exactly the same as a Kickstarter, except we don't obviously have hundreds of thousands of people in the audience and we don't yeah. have to pay for our 9% fees. So, so it's on you to share. It's on you. Sharing and enjoying. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> well, I got another one about the Easter eggs here, which okay. is basically exactly the same as the question before. Okay, well then we don't ask this. Kimet, no question for you. <laughs> What happens if no one figures out the Easter egg? Yeah, yeah, it's from. It'll Jim probably Man. rot somewhere and start to stink, and somebody yeah. will find it and eat it. I guess. <laughs> Luckily, it's not in his beard. No. Um, we well, then nobody's going to win the prize. So. Yeah, exactly. I will reveal it. I'll give you till January the fifth. 
Well, I'll ask another one then. Have you ever painted a Malifaux figure? And if so, which one? I can't say I From have. Daniel Ferreira, sorry. I haven't either. I'm not so sure. I don't think so. Yeah. There are some really nice ones, but yeah. uh, I have not painted them. Nope. Your turn. Um, Jason Thompson, in the future, will we, uh, in the future, will we be seeing digital downloads instead of just DVD format? Yeah, I think we already we talked already about this already well. yeah, yesterday. About this. Hmm? <clears throat> actually, we just talked about it a few minutes ago, but for you it would be yesterday. <laughs> Time travel. It's actually not even true. We're going to post these both today. But Forget what I said. This is not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> um, Dennis Hedin, Hedin Edin, um, asks, Is it possible that the Easter Egg is the start of a tour with you guys visiting a bunch of European cities? Um, is it possible? Yes. Is but it Easter Egg? No. <laughs> 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 but um, we have a lot of requests from uh, um, people from all over Europe, uh, even America. Actually, actually right? all over the world. Yeah. All over the world to do uh, workshops there. And uh, now workshops is not our main thing. Um, uh, we will do workshops, but yeah. there's not going to be tons of workshops. There may be four, five next year or so. Um, and we'll probably do one in Germany and we'll also visit some European countries. Yeah. yeah. Stefan Johnson asks, which is your favorite miniature company? The same as yours. Painting Buddha. Painting, Painting Buddha. Buddha. 